Do you know what Salman Khan? Chand chupa badal mein. Frank Sinatra. Fly me to the moon. Michael Jackson. <laughs> have in common? Well, their favorite muse has been the moon. And come 27th of July, it's going to be the favorite muse of a lot more people. I'm Kavya from Tech2 Science and today we're going to be talking about what they call the blood moon. I know. Sounds like something straight out of Twilight, isn't it? With all the blood and mooning. You know we have no control over it. Well, the blood moon is actually another term that's used to describe the total lunar eclipse, where the moon can sometimes turn reddish or even blood red if it's feeling feisty. So, if you're Netflix and chilling in the late hours of 27 July or the early hours of 28th, take a walk, look around, make some Maggie maybe. But at 1 a.m. on Sunday, do make time to look up at the sky. Because this night, the moon's gonna put on a show that it does only once in a lifetime. The full moon's gonna turn about 50 shades of red and orange during this eclipse, which is due to last about an hour and 43 minutes. During a lunar eclipse, the science goes that the Earth comes between the sun and the moon and casts its long shadow on the moon. However, the shadow of the Earth on the moon isn't all black. Why? Because something interesting happens at the edges of the Earth during the eclipse. The atmosphere acts as a prism and splits the sun's light into its many, many colors. Of all these colors, it's the red and orange that manage to reach the moon's surface and give it its reddish glow, hence the name Blood Moon. So grab a pair of binoculars or borrow that super zoom lens and make a viewing party out of it. Even better, bring a date along because the moon ain't gonna look this good in a very, very long time. If you like this video, do share it and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more cool science videos and very soon coming your way on Tech2.